Hey, I'm Srini, host and founder of the Unmistakable Creative Podcast. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use tags and bidirectional links to drastically speed up the writing or content creation process. And if you want to learn how to take better notes and use the ideas in this video, be sure to check out our free course on how to take better book notes. I'll include a link in the description below. Now, let's get to the video. Because I thought it would be really mind-numbing for somebody to watch me spend 45 minutes writing an article, I decided to do this video a little bit differently as a time-lapse and explain exactly what I'm doing in each section. When Dennis, one of the founders of MEM, asked me how MEM helps me to tell stories and create content, I ended up coming up with this idea about the benefits of MEM for uh, content creators and knowledge workers. So. I'm going to show you how MEM enables me to speed up the content creation process pretty dramatically. So you'll see here that I'm coming up with a couple of different ideas, all of which I'm tagging with the tag, the benefits of MEM. And when you start out doing a little bit of writing, just a draft and intro, and then you'll see here that I'm actually starting to connect notes that are already inside of the database using bi-directional links to just write up my introduction. But this first section here uh, is really about using tags to connect ideas. And you'll see here, I basically use this tag, the benefits of mem. And for every single idea that I have that's related to this article about the benefits of mem, or every mem that I have about the benefits of mem, I just use that tag. So that way, when I decide to assemble, they're able to just put everything together really quickly with a click of a button, because every single note that's related to this article is right there. Now, the other thing that you'll notice here is that I'm basically building each section of this article from ideas that are already inside of my database. And what you saw right there, that idea for personal source of truth is that I'm also coming up with new ideas in this process while I'm working on this ideas that just happen to work. You'll see here that sometimes I'll search for a bi-directional link and I don't find it, which is a perfect opportunity to capture an idea for a new mem or a new note that you want to capture. And often we don't actually know what those ideas are going to be or how they're going to form because ideas take time to bake. Now, what you'll see here is now I'm basically putting all of this together using uh, a combination of mem spotlight tags and bi-directional links. And uh, this actual video and, and this note right here that you're seeing is actually a perfect example of what I'm talking about in this video. And the thing is that one thing I've talked about before is that this doesn't really seem to make a lot of sense to people until they have about 50 or 60 notes inside of their mem database because Every mem that you create allows you to create more mems. So if you think about it, ideas are just basically born out of previous ideas. So every mem basically becomes a building block for some other mem that you're going to create or some other piece of content that you're going to create. And you notice here that uh, I'm talking about spontaneous insight. And you've probably seen throughout this video, every time I try to search for something and I can't find a link to whatever that thing is, that means I don't have a note for it. So it's a perfect opportunity to capture a note and you know take action on that note later without ever forgetting a single idea. Because almost every idea we have, as I'm talking about here, coincidentally, is born out of ideas that we already have. So you're basically connecting related ideas very easily using a combination of tags and bi-directional links. And what you'll see here in just a second is because of the fact that I've rewritten a lot of the notes that I've taken from books in my own words, there's no shortage of all at, of, of content that I can use. And I also came up with dozens of new ideas. I pulled content from other mems. The other thing you'll see here is that I'm actually modifying existing notes uh, and updating them in the process of creating this article. And this is one of the things that I absolutely love about MEM in terms of the ability to just increase the speed at which you can create content. And you can see here, this is my first draft of the article that I've you know finished writing. And I'm just pulling a bunch of different notes together about the benefits of MEM. Each one just connecting different ideas start already in my database related to note taking, related to productivity, related to time management. And you'll see here, that's my draft that's completely done. So Dennis sent me a question on Slack about how I'm using MEM at about six 20 on Sunday night. And keep in mind, I did this after drinking about two glasses of wine. And by about 7.15, this whole thing was done. So that's just an idea of what's possible in terms of your ability to speed up content creation inside of them. As always, feel free to ask questions or leave comments in the description below.